All right, going to show you a shocking incident of some new IFB cultists over in Australia actually using witchcraft style tactics of intimidation. Okay, you're not going to believe this. So basically what happened was these new IFB cultists left a package on this other uh, church building where it had dead rats in the package and DVDs to Anderson's videos and some of their own videos. Um, this is not how Bible-believing Bible Christians act. This is how witchcraft, a witchcraft style intimidation. This is how witches act, basically. But what do you expect with the new IFB? Stephen Anderson's cult that he runs, he's headquartered in Phoenix, Arizona, but he's got branches all over America and other Western countries too. Uh, this is what they do. This is the kind of fruit that comes out of this movement. Okay, watch this. And, and by the way, too, the pastor who did the video, um, I, I probably would disagree with him on some stuff. He uses the name Yahweh, which is not a scriptural name, uh, and a bunch of other stuff. You know, I probably would disagree with him on some points, but he's just pointing out this is the kind of intimidation tactics these new IFB cult members do to... to people they oppose. Okay, watch this. I'd like to welcome everyone to Paradise Now Church this morning. And we're going to hold a meeting here and preach the truth in another hour or so. We came to the fellowship this morning. My name's Paul Sheehan, by the way. I'm the pastor here. And uh, when we came to the fellowship this morning, we found uh, certain stuff at our doorstep and uh, nailed to our door, the church door, I'd like you to show you that. It's from Pastor Logan Robertson of uh, Pillar Baptist Church Goodner. And his sidekick, Stephen Albany. He's, uh, he's another one that's in on it. These people are dangerous. They're uh, armed with the devil's tools. And they need to be reported. And Mr. Robertson needs to be deported back to New Zealand, where he fled from from authority. So let's uh, go up here and have a look as we uh, enter in here. Firstly we have this uh, was now oh, stuck in the door and then we have this uh, terrible uh, arrangement here of discs and it, it looks like a rat. It looks like a dead rat and only God knows what the other. It might be some st stuff to do with witchcraft, that other stuff. But as you can see, it's Pillar Baptist Church. Pillar Baptist Church. And their message is here with the rat. And the rats they are. Once saved, always saved. Can you believe that these people are saved at all? And it came in this little bag, little brown bag. And sitting there, well, I'm going to say one thing about these people. May God Almighty Yahweh, we can, may God Almighty Yahweh bless them and save their wretched souls. So this is another example of, of, of the carry-on and behaviour of Logan Robertson and uh, Stephen Albany of Pillar Baptist Church. Be warned today, stay clear of them, and uh, but don't fear them. Fear the Lord Jesus, Yahweh, Lord of a warring people. He's a great and mighty God, our Lord. Vengeance belongs to Jesus, not me or anyone else. So God bless, and have a great day today. We're going to have a great service, and we're going to rejoice. Amen. You know. This is not surprising, considering the fact that we look at their fruit, the new IFB, this is the fruit of the new IFB right here. This type of, of satanic, demonic type of intimidation. Um, let's, look, let's look at what the Bible says, okay? The Word of God. Matthew chapter 7, verse 15 to 20. Beware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. You shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns, or figs of thistles? Even so, every tree that bringeth forth good fruit, every, every tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree, sorry, a good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth forth bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. Wherefore, by their fruits ye shall know them. Not good at reading on a computer. Um, you look at the fruits of the new IFB. Uh, it's all wickedness. That's all that it is. There's no good fruit coming out of the new IFB cult, Stephen Anderson's cult, as well as his Australian branch, which did this demonic type of witchcraft intimidation. Okay. I'm a former new IFB member, and I've, I've done videos exposing them. I'll probably be doing more in the future. Uh, this is Mark and avoid these guys. Okay. When you go against them, they'll use these type of, of demonic uh, witchcraft-like 
intimidation tactics against you to get you to submit to the cult leader. Because number one thing that all cults believe, you don't speak against the leader, you don't oppose them. And if you do, then we're gonna harass you basically. You know, the Church of Scientology, they do that too. Uh, and a bunch of other uh, satanic groups out there as well. So don't be deceived by the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.